Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have been requesting for a Lava Hound deck and gameplay. And the Lava Hound is such a big threat in the game and is often underrated. In my opinion, the Lava Hound is one of the easiest cards to get to Legendary Arena with. So, I'm going to show you guys one of the most solid Lava Hound decks that you guys could make. This deck features a very powerful defensive core with the Mini P.E.K.K.A, Inferno, Minions, and Goblins. And this deck destroys Hog Rider, Royal Giant, Giant, and Golem decks that you guys probably see everywhere at Arena 8 or 9. So let's do some battles and I'll show you guys how easy it is to use the Lava Hound. Um, up against Kachu, good luck. Okay, and uh, let's see, we're gonna use... We're gonna start off with the minions here at the back. And he's gonna go with the Collector. Okay, unfortunately I don't have my Collector. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. I'm gonna go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A shielding the, uh, the minions. And I'm gonna poison here. I'm gonna poison his Ice Wizard and his Collector. Nice. Um... He's gonna use his Ice Spirit and some Skeletons for distraction, but it didn't work out for him. Alright, great. Now I can place down my Collector, so looking good. I'm gonna place it once I have a fully loaded bar so that I also have enough Elixir to play my Inferno if needed. So he's gonna go with his Giant. Alright, um, we do have an Inferno Tower, of course, so uh, not a problem against that Giant. Possibly, he might possibly have um, the Poison spell. Gotta worry about that because um, most of these common meta decks have uh, poison with their with, with their giant nowadays. All right, he's gonna use a zap to reset. We're gonna place goblins up there away from the poison. Okay, looking good. And uh, let's see, we're gonna go with um, hmm. should we go with the lava hound? Yeah, let's go with the lava hound right now. And uh, he most likely doesn't have the musketeer because he has an ice wizard. So he's gonna play his uh, collector down. So I'm expecting an ice wizard very soon. So before that, um, I might want to go with the poison and mini P.E.K.K.A. But once he, yeah, there we go. There he places the ice wizard. I'm gonna place down my mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I'm gonna play my poison right here. There we go, poison. And uh, gonna go with my minions because that ice wizard is gonna be distracted. Uh, by my Lava Hound, but he used the poison spell nice took out his ice wizard before the poison was able to take out my minions And once that poison wears off, I'm gonna send out goblins. Yeah um, He's got some skeletons. He's gonna use a zap <laughs> He used zap early there So a, a bit of a fail on his part as my pups. They're gonna quickly take his tower um, however, he's got two collectors down, so that could be a problem. I'm going to play down my collector. He's going to go with this giant mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, we're going to slow things down with the poison spell. And then, I'm going to drop my goblins right on his ice wizard. There we go. And then I'm going to play my mini P.E.K.K.A. up there as well, uh, away from his poison. And there we go. Nice. Um, let's see, let's see. He has all of those troops distracted. We're going to drop minions, and we're going to drop a zap quick. And then use our Inferno to counter that Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ice Wizard. But yeah, very good defense as you guys can see against these meta decks that utilize Giant uh, with Mini P.E.K.K.A. Good game. Look at this guys, I I've been just murdering Royal Giant decks uh, with this Lava Hound deck. So let's head in for the next battle. Okay, up against Expert, good luck. Let's see if he is an expert. <laughs> We're gonna play our collector very soon. Um, unfortunately, we don't. Okay, he's gonna play his collector. Great. So I'm gonna play my collector, and the next card is my Infernal Tower. So I have really good defense. He's gonna um, play his Ice Wizard on the right. Um, let's see, does he couple that Ice Wizard with anything? Because we're going to use the Lava Hound, and that Lava Hound is going to distract his Ice Wizard. Watch this. See, that Ice Wizard is distracted. My Arena Tower can just easily finish it off now. Um, he's going to use his Dark Prince. Interesting. Oh, nice. Double Prince. So, I'm going to play my Minions then. <laughs> and I'm just going to Zap to reset. And let's see, he's got... Um, princess over there. Those are really powerful princes. Oh my goodness. Level 7 prince and level 6 dark prince. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy, man. Um, okay, but still, I, I'm looking very good here. I'm going to use a poison. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The pups. And now the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the pups are just going to easily take that tower with the poison slowing it down as well. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna play down my collector now. I do know he has a double prince coming So I'm gonna prepare my inferno. Yeah, there we go. There's his prince. Is he gonna uh, couple it with the dark prince? 
Yeah, he's got a couple of the Dark Prince. I'm gonna use a Zap reset. Oh, a bit late there. Took a took a charged hit, but still, my Inferno here should be able to take it out. But then again, it is a very powerful Prince. Uh, we're gonna use the Mini Packa one swing, take it out, and let's see. Now he has to defend against the Mini Packa as well. He's gonna use his own Mini Packa to defend against my Mini Packa. Um, okay, it's at like one hit point. We're going to play our Lava Hound and we're going to go for the 3 crown actually. Let's go for the 3 crown because this way we can also defend our tower on the right. We're going to use Goblins. Uh, let's see, does he use a Zap? Yeah, he's going to use a Zap. We're going to lose the tower, but that's fine. We're going for the 3 crown now because we're in the lead in the Elixir. We have a Lava Hound. Um, we know he's got his Princess. Pretty much his only defense, I think. Uh, a Prince. Uh, I guess we'll use the Inferno here. And then we're going to couple our Lava Hound with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then we're going to use that Poison very soon, right here. Poison the Princess. Our Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to be able to easily take that Ice Wizard out. <laughs> we're going to send out more minions. Nice. And we should be able to 3 crown him. We're going to zap. And that should be a good game. Yeah, that should be a 3 crown. Good game, expert. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's a really solid deck. We'll do one more. Whoa, up against level 12 now. Nice. All right, so good luck to Chad here. And let's see, we'll play our minions to start off at the back. He's going to go with the furnace. Actually, in that case, we'll use uh, the poison on his furnace. We'll use our mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter his uh, knight and ice wizard. Now, while that ice wizard is distracted, we're going to play our minions. And that should take out that level 3 Ice Wizard. So this is definitely going to be uh, quite a challenge because of his level. We're going to play our Collector very soon. Um, he wasted all of his Elixir starting off with this Furnace, uh, Ice Wizard, and Knight. We're just going to zap here and get some value out of this. Because his Bomber is of course 3 Elixir. He's going to use a Poison. He's going to lose 4 Elixir there. And our Collector is still going to be able to generate... Um, at least at least two more elixir here he's gonna play his minor and uh, we're gonna play our goblins quickly and then add in a mini pack of force him to use his zap or something so let's see uh, he's gonna use his archers over there we could poison but I'm not gonna poison I'm gonna do something else I'm gonna use my lava hound to distract those archers so here I'm gonna send down my lava hound and once those archers are distracted I'm gonna play my minions and they're gonna quickly take out the archers there all right, nice. Now, remember, the minions are pretty fast, so I should have actually placed my minions. Um, <laughs> I should have actually waited a bit longer there. But we're going to use the poison, and the poison is going to deal with the furnace. So I'm going to play my goblins here. Nice, use the zap. Uh, the poison is going to take... Nice. Oh, unfortunately, we lost our um, goblins due to the splash damage from the, the, the fire spirits. Okay, uh, he still has his... Um, Ice Wizard, oh, that was an excellent prediction of my um, mini P.E.K.K.A placement, but I don't know. There was a slight lag and he was able to escape it. Um, and it's a really powerful bomber too, so that combination quickly took out my mini P.E.K.K.A. So yeah, this level disadvantage is definitely bothering me. Um, I'm going to go with my minions. He's going to play his poison. Hopefully I should still be able to take out the knight. But then again, it's level 12 and I can't ignore it. So I'm going to play my goblins as well. Overusing my elixir because of the level disadvantage. Anyways, I'm going to go with my um, lava hound. Uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. And again, he places his miner in, in the front. Okay, nice. He's going to clump his archers with his bomber. So I'm going to use my poison on them. And while all of that is distracted, send down my minions and they'll take out the knight and the bomber. Now I'm going to go with my goblins. And I'm going to play another lava hound. Here we go. Two lava hounds. And we have, look at that. <laughs> goblins, minions, easy tower. Eight seconds. We're just going to fortify our last tower here with an inferno tower because he has a miner, of course. And that's going to be game. Good game. By the way guys, I just recently got an Ice Wizard from my crown chest. So yeah guys, open those crown chests every day because uh, so far I've gotten 4 legendaries just from opening my crown chest in the, in the last 3 months. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more daily Clash Royale content. I'll see you guys again soon. Later!